In this video, I'm going to walk through the steps for setting up the Tangerine to capture a multi-sample set from a VST in Ableton Live. Be sure to check out our other video on creating a multi-sample set from the Nanobox Fireball. Connect the output from your audio interface to the line input on the Tangerine. Next, connect the MIDI out from the Tangerine to the MIDI in on the interface. Use the included adapter to convert TRS MIDI to 5-pin MIDI. In Live's Preferences, assign your MIDI interface as an input. Assign the audio interface as your audio input and output. From the pad's home screen, push the left arrow button to open the Nanobox config screen. Set Record Monitor to on so you can hear the audio source before and during the recording. If you want a one-bar lead-in before the recording starts, select the lead-in parameter and set it to on. Press the right arrow button to return to the pad's home screen. On an empty pad, push the right arrow button one time. On the Record Load screen, Touch the button labeled 1X to change to MX mode for multi-sampling. Set up the multi-sample wizard to capture the VST. Set the record input to capture in mono or stereo. Use gain to adjust the input level. Send audio from the VST to check the input level. You want to capture the strongest, loudest signal without clipping. File name allows you to specify a name for the multi-sample directory you're about to create and the naming prefix for each of the captured WAV files. Start note and end note is the range of notes you want to capture. Sample every allows you to sample every semitone every 16 semitones, or any number in between. The tangerine will assign your wave files to a specific pitch and pitch bend up or down to fill the spaces in between. Typically, every three to four semitones is enough to faithfully capture an instrument. You can sample up to 16 velocity layers for each pitch. The tangerine will seamlessly switch between these velocity layers based on the incoming MIDI velocity per pitch. Capturing more semitones and velocity layers will create a more accurate and expressive version of your instrument, but will also require more storage space on the micro SD card, as well as potentially longer load times. The tangerine can load multi sample sets that include over 500 samples. Max velocity is the maximum velocity that will be sampled per pitch. Choose a setting that represents the highest velocity you want to sample. If you set the max velocity to 100 and you sample 10 velocity layers, you should expect the tangerine to use a different sample for every 10 values of incoming velocity. Note length and release length are both measured in seconds. Choose the MIDI channel that your VST is set to receive on. Use record threshold when you want the sampling to begin at the onset of sound. Touch record to begin multi-sampling. If you want your sample set to loop for longer sustain, you have two options. You can sample a longer note length. This will result in larger files, add to the amount of storage needed, and possibly take longer to load. Or you can set the loop points using software like Sample Robot or Endless Wave. This will allow for indefinite sustain without increasing file size or load time. Once the process is complete, navigate to the config menu for the pad and set the MIDI in channel to match your external controller.
Send MIDI notes to the tangerine to audition the set you just created. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe to be notified when we post new videos. You can find more information about all of our products at 1010music.com.